Well, there's no smooth transition from that. Uh, I understand it is Valentine's Day, and that's why you Happy have... Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. <laughs> Those never... I laugh Brought every time. Brought to you by Eric Thies. Oh, my God. And some form of potter pan accessory <laughs> that, uh, well, Roberto managed to make dirty. Um, I, I, I'm just going to jump right in on this. I can't believe what I just heard, and I don't believe it's real. Not Eric Thies, but Doug Karsh. <laughs> now, hold on. We, we are getting tons of ticket texts on this. Now, I just think Doug was messing with me because lately that's the character he's playing, which is fine. I mean, I, like I said, I don't care. The crosstalk's the crosstalk. I'll do it whatever way they want to do it. But you know, lately he's been arguing with me a bunch, and he's been very pa- passive-aggressive with me, and I don't understand why. But now today, it, Gator and I are making good points about Dan Dockich, and Doug in a very matter-of-fact way. I like Dan Dockage. Interesting thought. And I'm like, wait a second. Dan Dockage represents everything Doug doesn't like in this business. But he goes, no, I like him. Like, I find Dan Dockage insufferable. And part of the reason is he says the same things every game. Like, how many times do I have to listen to Dan Dockage go, oh, man, I, boy, if I were Minnesota or I were Iowa or I, if I were Indiana, I'm, I'm fine with Jaron Jackson taking a three-point shot. Uh, uh, you realize he makes those, right? He's acting like Jaron Jackson is Shaquille O'Neal. Jaron Jackson plays all over the court. Oh, that's, that's a gift when he's out there. What are you talking about? How many times a game do I have to hear about whatever you wrote on, on your Twitter weeks ago about, oh, Miles Bridget, people say, oh, he doesn't have any game. Well, see, he's got some game. See, I, I like Miles Bridges. I this, I that. It's not about you. Call the game. Do people actually like Dockage calling these Big Ten games? I can't take him. I don't mind honesty. I don't mind opinions. I'm fine with all that. Dan Dockage loves himself some Dan Dockage. That's the problem I have. It's all about him. Watch the game and listen to how many times he says I. How many times he talks about his radio show or talks about his Twitter or talks about like the Michigan State games. He basically takes the same game day preparation and talking points and does it every game. Every game. Nobody cares about what you said about Miles Bridges weeks ago. Nobody cares about the Twitter battles you're in. Nobody cares about, oh, you know, Tom Izzo text me. Nobody cares. Call the game. Teach me something about the game. Break a play down. Explain why something just took place. I I just, I can't take it. I'm stunned that Doug really likes him. Stunned. That's why I don't believe Doug. I think Doug was just trying to josh with us. You know, can I throw the number on this? Because I know Dan Dockich does the Big Ten. It's, It's Super Tuesday. And maybe somebody likes him out there. I don't. I just don't get it. Like, I think he could be really good, but he chooses not to be. 248 539 I think I'm ready to put Dan Dockich above Joe Buck as my least favorite announcer. But, Sully, you you listen to Crosstalk. Do you believe Doug or you think Doug's playing us? Because Gator, I, I know Gator didn't say it on the air. He didn't want to upset Doug. But Gator believes Doug doesn't believe what he's saying. Yeah, I, you know what? I'd be surprised if... He actually did like him. I've never heard Doug really speak highly of him or anything. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why why he would say that, but he's never he I, he's never really talked talked highly of him. I can't remember him talking bad about him, but he's never certainly never talked highly. But, but of him. it doesn't seem like Doug's kind of guy. No, he doesn't because, as you said, the broadcast is always about him. I had to turn. I think it was the MSU Iowa game. Was that last week? I had to turn it off because. Uh, because of Dockett. He just always yells and is way too loud and the me, me, me stuff. And I talk to Miles and Miles and I, you know, I like Tom Izzo. We text all the time. It's just not good. Your job it, is to sit there and call the game and, and teach people and show people what's happening. I mean, it's just it's nonsense. I think it's just the opposite of anything you say. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what it's gotten to <laughs> via the uh, Mike, cross talks. If, yeah, if Mike says, you know what, I really hate uh, eating my own duty, he would say, no, no I, I like it. Uh, D- Doug, I hate cancer. <laughs> well, you're wrong, Mike. What? Wait, what? Interesting you, thought. You know, Doug, world hunger is a real problem. <laughs> Not for me, Jack. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's kind of where it's gotten. 
Maybe I'm going to have to do the reverse of the reverse psychology with Doug. To say something that you actually hate, but do say the, you like it? Do the opposite of how I feel, because that'll be the predictive measure of how he'll feel, <laughs> and then I'll force him to agree with how I really feel. Jedi mind trick. Right. I'll be like the dude who shoots the electricity out in, in, in the Darth Vader movie. I'd love to hear some reasoning, though, if he actually does like Dan Dockage, why? I don't know that our listeners enjoy Dockage. I don't know a Spartan fan who likes him. I don't know one person that likes Dockage other than his family. Well, I don't know if his family likes well, him. Well, we don't, don't know, know that. But I would just say that I, I haven't talked to one friend of mine that likes him. Not one caller has saw, ever called up and said they like Dan Dockage. I've never heard anybody say they like him. I was stunned by it. I'm, I'm very stunned. I mean, honestly, I can't think of a single Spartan fan who likes the guy. I mean, he's also very, he also trolls Michigan State a ton. Yeah, so I'm not surprised that Spartan fans don't like him, and I don't blame him. He's just into himself, and that's so bizarre for a color commentator. I mean, it's like, I don't know, Bill Walton is 100 and high, so it's like you kind of don't mind that he's self-indulgent in the later years of his life. I mean, Dockage just, the whole thing is about him. Yeah. Always. And last night towards the end of the game, I know it was a blowout. I was still watching it. He was talking about texting Tom Izzo and chatting with my, you know, Miles Bridges came over to me before the game and we were right. talking. Nobody cares. 90% of your audience has no idea what you did on Twitter. And he talks, right, he talks about Twitter all the time. He talks the about his show. radio show. <laughs> How many times have you heard him the last three Spartan games over the last two weeks say, Miles Bridges, see, he doesn't have game. Or, hey, there's some game. Like, dude, no one knows what you're referencing on the grand scheme of things. You think people like my dad know what the hell? My dad called me and goes, what the hell is this guy's problem with Miles and not having game? And I had to explain it to him. Like, everyone gets lost in this idea. Yeah, everybody knows what Dan Bleep and Dockage wrote on a social platform a month ago. No! Well, it, but there's also, there's clearly a bias there with his son going to Michigan. And, and maybe... His kids at Ohio State now. Well, right, but his son went to Michigan and played for Michigan. I know he you know, was at the end of the bench. Did he? I don't but, remember him. But... <laughs> Point being, there, in my opinion, you can tell there's definitely some sort of bias for Michigan How about when and he therefore was on, against Michigan State. He always is trolling Michigan I mean, State. He was on with Lenardi, and he he had all the opportunity to like make a good point and just go, Joe, well, look, you think they're one of the two, three best teams. It's inexcusable for whatever criteria the committee's using to rank them where they rank them. Then we need to reexamine the criteria. He didn't do it. He started l lumbering through sentences with, well, I'm... I'm okay if you want to talk to me about facts. I mean, I like facts and and stuff and facts and and numbers and and uh, cut his microphone immediately. I, I just maybe it's because Dockich has done so many Spartan games this year, including their last four. Maybe it's just I can't take anymore. But I think Dockich is really bad because I don't. I never feel like the game is the main event. I'm watching the game. Like, I've had the same criticism of Dick Vitale over the years is that Vitale makes himself bigger than the game. Now, as Dick Vitale fades into senility, it's total cartoon, and I'm not suggesting that. Dockich is capable of making some very good points. It's just I always feel like he believes he's the main event, and that's not how it's supposed to be. Like, the best color commentators in sports right now, like Doris Burke is fabulous on the NBA. Doris doesn't make herself bigger than the game. She's there to add to the game. You know, for years, I loved Hubie Brown. Hubie Brown doesn't make himself bigger than the game. I, I just, I don't understand it. And I think maybe it's just, it's how it has to be because we've got this new generation of people with the attention span of a gerbil. So someone's always got to be jumping up and down and screaming and yelling and, oh, look at me, look what I insta-chatted and look what I tweeted and look at who I yelled at. Snap-faced, as Bill Belichick says. Yeah, I don't need any of it. Just call the game, dude. Be excited when good things happen. Be critical when bad things happen. Stop making it about you. Uh, and I'd love to hear from more people about it because I really do get the sense that it's, you know, 70% of people don't like him. I will. I'm telling you right now. I think Doug Carr's the only guy who likes Dockage. 
And I refuse to believe Doug likes Dockage because Dockage doesn't strike you as a nice guy. Doug's a nice guy. Doug doesn't like people that aren't totally nice, a.k.a. me. So my point is, why, how would he like Dockage? I could see Doug lecturing one of his children and going, listen now, don't be like this man on TV right here. He's a very mean person. I could see that. He just comes across as a loud mouth on air, I think. Which is good for this medium. Not good for for play by play. But and color I, well, I, I don't say that in a good way. I mean, you know, mm. borderline a jerk. He, mm. come, he comes across as doing the color. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Let's get into Dan Dockich a little bit. I don't want to let it take over the show, but does anybody like this guy? Because I I'm struggling with it. And then we'll get into other issues of the day that include Steve Kerr, uh, a, a franchise being brutally honest with its fans, and also what I think is a very interesting topic about. Television ratings not to do with the NFL. A lot to do today. 97 1.